Welcome to reality, I'm glad you came Hi, my name is Mo now, you should like my page Leave a comment below and tell me your name Get on my email list and subscribe to my channel Don't forget to hit the bell, that's within the same panel What I would say is one, YouTube has to be your number one marketing strategy for 2021. It's the place where your content lives forever. Why? Like every other social platform, your content disappears, right? Not that it actually goes away, but what you posted on Instagram last week, nobody cares about it anymore, right? It's Instagram, it's instant, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, etc. All of them are designed for the now, for the moment. But a week later, it's it's basically extinct content. YouTube, the videos you make today in a year, in two years, in interest, traffic, building your brand. So if you if you value your legacy and the brand you're trying to build, and I see a bunch of on fire entrepreneurs who are trying to change the world, are we trying to change the world here? Ladies and gentlemen, is that what you're, right? <laughs> YouTube will pay you to make content. Instagram's not paying you money to make your content. Twitter's not paying you money to make your content. YouTube is paying you to make content. So. Now we're making this content that's living forever that in five years is still getting us views and in five years is still paying us for the work we did way back in 2021. And the third thing, I don't know if anybody's talked about this super quick and then I'm going to dive right into your questions. There's a thing called the audience retention curve and it shows you where people are falling off in your video. It's audience retention curve. If you, if you can't spell it or you're struggling, put it in the chat and Drew will help you. Audience retention curve. Okay, even if you aren't going to get on YouTube this year, write it down. This will save your entire social media strategy. Okay, what the audience retention curve does is it shows you where people are falling off in your video, where they stopped paying attention. And so normally, you know, you start a video and it starts to fall off. And then, you know, a minute later, most people have already lost 50% of their audience. It's also going to show you there. So whenever it, it pops off a lot, we, we, you know, hopefully learn from that and don't do those things anymore right maybe if you're really boring at the beginning or you said something that people didn't like people fall off you'll have these moments though where it's flat which means nobody left so maybe from the two minute mark to the four minute mark in your video nobody left that's a really good thing that happened there right like whatever you whatever you said there how many of you are feeling the pressure of having to be on every single social media platform I got to be on Facebook and I got to be on Twitter and I got to be on Instagram, and I, right? And you probably have a business that you want to run as well, right? Your job is probably not being a full-time influencer. You're trying to use social media to help you grow and build your business, right? Is that you guys? You feeling that pressure to have to post everywhere? Okay. So let me make it easy for you. I see. Yes, yes, yes. Not enough time to do that. Here's what I want you to think about. YouTube, you were making a 10 to 15 minute video and then we're going to split that up into little videos and little quotes across all of social media. Now back to the audience retention curve. When you see it's flat, that means nobody left. When you see it goes up, that means they rewound to watch that part again. To be on every platform, all you have to do is post to YouTube, look at your audience retention curve. It's the only jargon I'm going to use today because it's so important. And when you see the little, that's what you clip and take to Instagram. That's what you cut and make a Facebook video of. I'm on all these platforms and we get hundreds of thousands of, of followers on the different platforms, but really all I'm doing is making YouTube videos and then we're looking at the audience retention curve and whatever is popping, that's what we cut to take to all the other social platforms. So you don't have to make brand new content for 16 different platforms. You just have to make a YouTube video and then you cut it to go to all the other platforms. Here's an example. This is the audience retention curve. Okay. This is, this is what a video looks like. So this is a 15, 14 minute, 37 second video. Okay. You know, at the start, everybody's watching. Then look how much it falls off a cliff, right? This is, these are people leaving. We started here. What, I don't know what you want to call that. 20 seconds in, we've already lost. We're down to 45% or so retention, right? So whatever we did in our intro really sucked. Then it went back up. Then it fell back down and then it kind of holds steady around here. But you see this part here? You see this big jump? This. This is what we cut and we take to Facebook and Instagram and all the other social platforms right there. So all we're making is a 14 minute video once a week. And then we're looking for these these jumps even from here to here. That's good. Nobody left and we had a couple jump ups. So that's a good clip, too. 
this is a fantastic clip. This is amazing. Even here is another clip. Analytics for every video. It's free. There's nothing that you have to add on. You don't have to pay for anything else. It's baked into YouTube. Any video on your channel, even if you're just going to YouTube.com, underneath will say analytics for the video. Just click on that and it will show you. YouTube data is the best of all the platforms and I love it and Drew loves it and we just live inside it. But my goal is to not make it crazy complicated for you. I don't want to show you all the things that are like these little micro tweaks and adjustments that I love to live in. Just looking at that one curve, the audience retention curve for free on every single video. And now we have content for every single platform. Okay. That's why YouTube is so powerful. So it's not YouTube as one of 18 different platforms you have to be on. It's YouTube as the platform and then everything falls underneath. You have now newsletter content. You now you have blog content. Now you have Facebook content, Instagram. This is this is enough. You're you're not trying to make a Hollywood video. They're not subscribing to you because of the imagery and the music. Right? If you are a musician, your music better be on point. You know, if you're a, a, an editor, your editing better be on point. You are a thought leader. So what matters is that your thoughts are on point. So you've already got the tools. If you have if you have one of these, you got a phone, you've already got enough to go make videos. I'll still make videos off of this. I have 3 million subscribers on my channel. Got almost half a billion views. I still make videos from this. You guys already have the tools to make it. Okay? So that's why that's at least my take on why YouTube How do, I, how do I figure out my niche and who I'm going after? Your niche is really you from five years ago. You're making content for the person you used to be. That's it. So think about who you were five years ago or 10 years ago and how much self-doubt you had, insecurities you had, lack of confidence you had. You don't have to be Oprah. You could give a message to who you were five years ago. If you're sitting on that bench and you got eight minutes with, with who you used to be, you could sit down and give that person a message. That's all you're doing in the videos because there are millions of people who currently are who you used to be and they need your help and they need your voice and they need your message. So that's really your niche. Your niche is the you from five years ago and try to visualize it because sometimes it's hard talking to the camera. Like you guys feel awkward just sitting there talking to the camera in a room by yourself. Like, oh my gosh, is anybody going to see this? Right. Imagine you're actually sitting there. You're not just in your bedroom or your living room or your garage by yourself. You're sitting there with you from 2016. And you know, give some advice. Right? That's your niche. This is a you thing. This is a human thing. This is how do you want to show up for your life and then you bring it to your business and other people. So my brand is belief. It's my most important core value. And so in my videos, I always try to leave people with belief. If, if you've ever watched my content, it's always positive. You know, if I did a top 10 rules video, we do these rules where we compile different people. Um, the first one we did was on Kanye West, which is part of the reason why he's on my wall, you know, behind me. It'd be really easy to do instead of a top 10 rules for success from Kanye West, a top 10 stupidest things Kanye's ever said. That'd be a really easy video to do. And it probably, it would probably get more views because we would much rather look at the negativity and tear other people down. It's not just against my brand, it's against my soul. So w your brand is an emotion. What is the emotion that you need the most right now that you need to give yourself from 2016 that you want to spread out to the world? And then it's going to manifest its itself in a lot of different ways. What video do I make? Talk to 2016 you. Like, make that your homework. We'll make it super easy. You're talking to 2016 you. Just pull out the phone. Like, imagine your phone is 2016 you, and you're just going to share a message. And don't worry about how long it is or how perfect it is or if you cry or if you stumble or if you trip and fall. You know, just keep <laughs> keep going. Get up. Tell, tell a message to 2016 you. Don't worry about a thousand takes. And then post. I'm a recovering perfectionist. I lost a $40 million deal when I was 22 because I tried to have the perfect plan. And ever since, the best thing you can teach yourself is I get an idea, I'm just going to do something. As long as the intention is positive, right? Like if you're in a state, if you're in a negative state and you're feeling jealousy or rage or anger, okay, well, maybe then it's good to sit on it and see how you feel tomorrow.
The intention is to serve. The intention is to help. The intention is to inspire. Whether it it actually does it or not doesn't matter. It's the intent. And so you create because the most important step is just the first step. So just post from your phone. I'll never forget Evan Pagan talking about the speed of implementation is in direct proportion to your success. We start with a topic. So let's get a topic. What, what do you guys want? What would be a video title that you would make? It? Like think about what you would call a video or a lesson that you would share. And I'm going to show you how to make it better. So what is the topic? I'm going to show you. Like I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to go through it step by step. So what would you want to make a video on? Put it, put it in the chat. I'm going to look at look at some of these. What would it be? Pick. Like, what would you put it about monarch butterflies? Uh, the impact of sugar, finding your purpose from poverty to prosperity. Okay, they, these are getting good. Dear younger me, that's a great one. You have to do that. That's, that's tonight's. Uh, okay, so what was it? The impact of sugar? Okay, so here's an example. And you guys can follow along and do this. But we're going to go the impact of sugar. Okay? So first off, already as I'm typing, I get some ideas here on the body and on the body, brain, and behavior. So already we're getting some more ideas that YouTube is suggesting for us to make videos on, okay? But we're just gonna go with the impact of sugar. Okay, so now what we're looking for is to find videos that have done really, really well that have more views than subscribers. So this video got 11 million views and, got 14, and has 14 million subscribers. So it's a really good video for them but they have 14 million subscribers. That's a huge video for them. They're getting way more views than subscribers. So what I would suggest is making this video, instead of calling it the impact of sugar, we call this video, what does sugar actually do to your body? Make this video. And I don't, I don't want you to watch this video. I don't care what they said. You're the expert on it. So this is where we're coming in thinking, I'm gonna make a video called the impact of sugar. But instead, we're going to title it, What Does Sugar Actually Do to the Body? Because our goal is to have somebody watch this video and then watch ours. The goal isn't even to rank in search. The goal is to rank after other people's videos. So by taking similar titles, it gives us a really good shot to be able to do that. So anytime you see a video that has more views and subscribers, that's a really good video to make. 13 million views, Sugar, The Bitter Truth. Right? Can you make that video? This is something that you could probably make, but you'd never think about you calling it sugar, the bitter truth. Make sense? So try to get so passion. Um, get try to get specific. Okay, Oliver is saying spreading the gospel, and should one have wealth? Okay, that's the video that Olivier wants to make. Perfect. Let's see what shows up. So again, what we're looking for is videos that have done well with more views and subscribers. So this is uh, 8,000 views, 14,000 subscribers, that's okay. Dave Ramsey, that one underperformed for his channel. This one did okay, biblical viewpoint of money. So I would take this, but just take out John MacArthur. Again, don't. I don't care what he says in his video, I want you to make your version of it. And so this works for big channels, this works for small channels. This is a, the best way to do competitive research because my goal for you would be if somebody's watching this video that has 1.2 million views right after your video is being suggested. Been a few places, seen a few things, but nothing compares to the things that unseen. Lift up your spirit, it's within yourself. No one else can do it, but God can help. It starts with the small seed and the small things. Make, make good decisions, make, make good decisions, but they all won't be. So you gotta bounce back like a slinky spring. Now, once you bounce back, better calculate your steps. Learn from your mistakes, they don't define you. Make yourself better, you can rewrite you. But don't lose the qualities that make you you. Remember, remember, it's not what you do, but how you do it. It's not what you're going through, but how you get through it. It's not what you do, but how you do it. It's not what you're going through, but how you get through it. Welcome to reality, I'm glad you came. Hi, my name is Mo now. You should like my page. Leave a comment below and tell me your name. Get on my email list and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell that's within the same panel. Welcome to reality, I'm glad you came Hi, my name is Mo now, you should like my page Leave a comment below and tell me your name Get on my email list and subscribe to my channel Don't forget to hit the bell, that's within the same panel